Hey guys. Tonight is my last night. My last night of my hot works, hot cycle, hot blast series. And the reason why it's my last night is because they offered me a free trial and I've been coming from August 16th to August 31st. I've come every day as much as I could and sometimes I had to miss some days due to other responsibilities. But I'm here tonight, ready to get it in. The class has already started. I was running just a few minutes late because I'm exhausted, but it's okay. I figured this is my last night. I got to do it. Did you know that my mom came to visit? My mom came to visit from Maryland and we've been hanging out for the last four days, four and a half to five days. And so I haven't been here, but I wouldn't dare miss the night of hot cycle because it's my final chance to ride with Liz and the gang. So here I am in the sauna, a hundred and, well, it went down, it was 130 degrees, it's now 117. It goes up and down accordingly. And I'm here with the hot bikes, the cycle bikes, hot works bikes. And there's Liz, my coach, and her two team members. And I'm in the sauna and I'm riding at 180 degrees with the light on and I'm getting ready to get it in since this is my last night. I'm inside the sauna. This is a boutique gym and at this boutique gym they have six of these booths where you can actually come in and work out by yourself. You request the room online, you come in and you get it in and the instructor and the trainer is on flat screen TV. I got my water, two bottles, because I plan on possibly doing two sessions. There's my BPA, non-BPA water jug. There's my regular water bottle that I filled up with water from home. Here's the gear shift where you can increase the tension on the bike, the handlebars, the pedals, and then, whoop, here's me. All right, so I think that's everything. You know I'm in the sauna, you know that the session is 15 minutes, but it's equivalent to 45 minutes. I'm in a hot infrared, far infrared sauna. I'm riding on a hot white, hot work circle, cycle bike. And you have an opportunity to choose from one to 10 sessions of what you wanna do. They have hot core, hot yoga, hot pilato, hot pilates, hot iso, hot cycle, hot blast. And then in the back, they have a gym called the FX Zone, you reserve it, you come in, you ride, and the instructors are on the flat screen TV, and you do your thing. The membership is about, uh, you can get one for, I don't know the prices, guys, I'm sorry. I think it's about 75 bucks a month. Don't quote me to that, it depends on where you live and where they offer it, but I'm gonna say it was about 69.99 plus tax, so, something in that price range so you need about between 59 and 70 bucks a month but it's well worth it you work up a sweat and you get in shape okay i think i told you everything now let's ride ready let's go let's go standing up the higher you go up the hotter it is i'm pedaling i'm tired and i'm exhausted but i gotta do this i won't quit doing this for my mom she want me to exercise hard and be my best, get my legs moving, stay in shape, and keep the faith. So that's what I'm doing, staying in shape and keep the faith. She's gone from visiting me here in Florida, and she's on her way back to Maryland. And so what I'm doing is to celebrate the time that we had together. I'm riding this bike and exercising. This is my final time of my trial run, and I'm doing what I got to do. I needed this exercise. I want to clean out toxins. I want to tone and strengthen my body. I want to clear my mind. I want to get the benefits of the sauna. I want to ride the bike. I want to exercise. And I just want to smile and be happy as I get in shape. So that's what I'm doing. I'm here working up a good sweat. All right, let's get it. Let's go. Paddle. There you go. Woo, let's ride. 
pump it out. Pump, pump, pump it up. Pump it up. Don't stop, don't quit. Won't stop, can't quit. You gotta pedal. The bike works your arms, your shoulders, your back, your legs, your core, and your breathing. And with you being inside the sauna, that's the best benefit of all. This heat will sweat out those toxins and clean out your body. It's one thing to be in shape, but it's another thing to get healthy from the inside out. So it's 15 minutes on this bike and they change the tension at all times, going from heavy to low to flat. And you just follow what the instruction says to do, the instructor, the trainer says to do on a flat screen TV. And you start out really calm and cool, but by the end you're pretty sweaty. So it's very important to drink your water, hydrate yourself, eat healthy fruits and vegetables and maintain a good diet full of plant-based plant uh, choices, it'll help you, it'll strengthen you. That's what I do. I've been eating raw, this is day nine. I went seven days, I ate raw, then I had a cooked meal, and the day is day nine. So now, I gotta go two more weeks raw. And I only ate that cooked food because my mom was in town, and my son treated us to dinner. They didn't have any salad on the menu, and we was at a Jamaican restaurant, and I gave in. I'm not perfect, I gave in, but that's okay. I had curry chickpeas with beans and rice, or peas and rice, I think that's what they call it, with a coconut curry sauce, seasoned the taste. It was delicious, but I should have waited. I didn't have to eat it yesterday. I could have waited until my challenge was over, but I got weak, I'm human. But thanks be unto God, I did not eat anything that was quote unquote unhealthy. I'm grateful for that. So I messed up yesterday, but I'm back, baby. I'm back. That's right. Let's go. Gotta pedal. Pedal. See that? Pedal. Even if I don't go with the instructor and do exactly what she says, and go up and down and up and down and in the middle, or up and in the middle, down and in the middle, up and in the middle. As long as I keep riding, I'm burning calories. As long as I keep riding, I'm sweating. As long as I keep pedaling, I'm winning. I'm winning. It's winning season. Let's keep going. My finger is healing. It's a little bit still swollen, but I can move it. The last week, I slammed a weight plate on my finger at the gym. But it's okay. I didn't let that stop me. I did stop a little bit because mom came to visit. But even in my anguish and in my pain, I came here and I pedaled these legs, just like I'm doing now. Because it's important to exercise in some way, shape, or form every day. Go for a walk, drink your water, eat healthy, get some other kind of exercise, jump rope, skip, wall sits, lunges. You don't need a gym, you just need to move that body. Get some water in your body, drink enough water. You should be drinking enough water to sustain your health. You know when you're dehydrated. You know what you need. Not adding anything to the water. Drink the water. Drink it. Drink it. And mind your business. <laughs> and after you drink it, have your nutrition, your exercise, and your water, get out and get some sun. Get some sunshine. You need it. The sun is good for you. Stop running from the sun. It won't hurt you. It helps you. Get some sunshine. Get some of that free vitamin D. Also, work on your mood, your temperance. Don't let anybody get on your nerves. Don't let anybody steal your joy. Stay prayed up. Stay faithful. And when people say stuff you don't like, just keep smiling. Just keep smiling. Just keep smiling. Tell them God bless you. And you know what? When you're out there getting that sunshine and you're in a good mood, because the sunshine is going to give you a good mood. going to put you in a good mood. Stay out in that sun. Get some of that fresh air. That killed two flies with one shoe. Sunshine and fresh air. And that'll give you a good mood. And then after all of this is all said and done, and you've been out eating good, and exercising, and drinking your water, and getting some sunshine, and keeping your mood even killed, not letting anybody get on your nerves, 
and getting some fresh air. After that, get some rest. Last bite of food at seven. Last bite of food at seven. Nothing in your mouth after seven except for water. You just need water after seven. But nothing in your mouth after nine because you'll be up at the bathroom all night. Ask me how I know. Then turn off your cell phones, your computers, all your electronic devices and the TV. Get some rest. Circadian rhythm is between 10 p.m. and 2 a.m. You should be in your bed sleep by 10. Not getting ready to go to bed, not up helping your children with homework, figuring out what they're going to wear tomorrow, the last project you got to work on for work the next day, dealing with your husband, wanting to cuddle at 10 lights out. Figure all that stuff out before 10 p.m. and get your rest on. After you do that, do that and you've done everything you can do and you served your purpose and helped everybody and helped yourself and served your family, got to trust in God. Trust him. Trust the process. He'll be there. He'll help you do what you need to do at all times. Because everybody could use a new start. So I'm going to pedal it out to this 130 degree sauna room. Watching my instructors push me and moving my body. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's go, 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 let's get it. Push, push, sweat, sweat, breathe, breathe, ride, ride, pedal, pedal. Don't quit. Don't stop. Sweat it out. You got it. Go, go. Sweat, sweat. Push, push. Go, go. Ah. Ah, that's how you do it. We did that. We did it. 15 minutes, which is equivalent to 45 at a regular gym. And it's 130 degree sauna. Eat your fruit. Eat your vegetables. Do your workout. Have no strife. Your body is your temple, and you should be living life, living life, living life. All right, guys, I'm out of here. I'm out. Get in here and ride one of these bikes for your health, because you're worth it. Peace. I'm out.